Hey everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and we got our Cumberland float tube right here and we're going to put um, one of our non-powered fish finder mounting systems on here and which fish finder do I have today? Well, I've got the Dragonfly 5 right here that I'm going to put on the this float tube here and I'm not going to use one of our powered systems because I haven't done enough work showing you guys how these systems here um, are that being our non-powered systems work and look I focus so much on the actual powered kits of ours and I'll, I'll do videos of that as well but uh, here we have the Dragonfly 5 and what I'm planning to do is I got my battery here and I've actually used our same cabling system what we have in our powered kits maybe the camera can come close and see this I've used the same power cabling system here. I've covered off one of the terminals here, just using some tape. I got a little bit lazy. I didn't use anything elaborate. But just to make sure that nothing would sort short this battery. We do not want this shorted. That's not very good. That's very dangerous. So make sure that you don't just stick it in a pocket of a float tube and you got like, let's say, some metal pliers or some... Uh, some... Uh, scissors. Needle nose, scissors, anything like that that could cross some terminals so the way that you make sure it's not going to happen is you just cover at least one of the terminals off and you're safe maybe you put a little box around it these are non uh, these are non spillable and completely sealed so they're really waterproof in and of themselves and in fresh water fresh water is a very poor conductor of uh, electricity so you're not going to have to worry about anything when you're fishing on small lakes and everything like that if you want to just stick this in your pocket as is I think you're quite fine to do that I I am I'm a right cast. Uh, my I'm a fly fisherman on a right cast, so I like to keep that right side clear of my fish finder. And on the left side is where I will put the system here. So this system here, I'm just going to put it right here. The battery is right here in the pocket. We're going to feed the cable on like so. Maybe the camera can come in tighter so I can see the details of this. So we've got the battery, we're just going to have it in the very end of the pocket. This is the plug and this here is our 4.5 non-powered float tube mounting kit. You can, and, and any tube really, you could put this on a Zodiac boat or what have you. And I've kind of got it pre-set up here, um, let's see, maybe I have to redo this. So what I have to do is make sure that... My transducer, it's a bit of a spaghetti thing here. Oh. <laughs> Let's take the transducer off. What I want to show you guys here, so that's easy, easily done. I want to show you that you can, instead of strapping it together, you can just actually take this guy off and just have it um, and just slip it over the end. Now the thing is, is I'm going to put it this way because the screen is going to be facing me and I'm going to need a bit bigger of a loop. So I'm going to I'm going to slow this down. I know I'm kind of handling everything too fast. I'm going to slow it down for everybody in a sec once they got everything ready. So I'm just going to make the hoop wider. Okay, so now this is going to be this way though because I want my transducer on the outside of my tube. But you see how I'm just slipping that over really nicely and easily. See that? Just like so. And I've got my buckle in on this side. It doesn't really matter where you have it. I'm going to try it on the, this is the inside. Usually I have it on the outside. And we're going to bring this guy forward a bit. Close to the pocket. You might not like it this full, close to the pocket. I don't know if I even do. So when I'm out in the water, I'll be able to adjust it. So you hold here and you pull down. Just one second here, guys. There we go. You hold here and you pull down and that makes it on there super tight. And you can spin this to whichever way you want it to be. This this guy has a rotating ball on it, so it's not as impervious or imperative. 
but on the Hummingbird Helix 5, as an example, there's no rotational ability on those. So that's where our mounts make a big difference in giving you the capability to rotate it within the, the capability inherent within the mount to be able to do that with fixed uh, gimbal bracket style systems like the Helix 5. And then I take my transducer here and the transducer and the D5 series, the Dragonfly 5 here and the 4, I'm not sure about the 7, we don't, I haven't had that one up close myself, but it has the cables all in one, the power cable and the transducer cables all in one plug on the back of the, the, trans, the fish finder are here. As you can see, you can plug that in right now. They've done a good job of waterproofing everything. We just twist it and then it can't come out. It's a little lock system, it's really nice. And then we just take this guy and we slip it on like so. And there we have it. There is our mounting system and we're gonna just take the plug and we also have cable tie-offs on here. They're kind of a little bit tougher to use on these non-powered kits. They're right here. They're in the front as well because you don't have much space now for the cables to be kind of stuck in here. You know, you probably want to be tying your cables off. Like it, either put it in your pocket like I've done here or you're going to stick it maybe underneath the strap. I personally would probably just try it in the pocket here. So it's not as fancy as our powered systems, but nevertheless, just as effective. Um, and we'll just plug this guy in. And so we've got everything set up here nicely. I'm just going to zip it up so you guys can see what it looks like all nicely zipped up as though. So that's all you have. And we're going to take it and we're just powered on just like that. And we've got a wicked awesome. And again, just so that all everybody knows, you do not need to have the transducer further than just, just below the surface of the water. You can see that when you're launching and beaching to keep this guy out of harm's way or it's dragging any weeds or anything, you can just tilt it up, lock it in, and there you have a fantastic mounting system from fishfindermounts.com. We are making all fish finders portable and awesome for even small little float tubes, kick boats, belly boats, pontoon boats. So this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. You can call us at 1-855-784-3474 to get your amazing fish finder mounting solution from us today. And what I just showed you now is our 4.5 non-powered tube mounting kit. You can see that on our website under our inflatable boat mounts category under shop, inflatable boat mounts, or also float tube mounts. There you have it everybody. Thanks for watching.